everyone, welcome back to PM at PM. As always, I'm your host, John Renzia, and tonight we'll be going over how each of the remaining candidates can win New Hampshire. Starting off with Nikki Haley, her best bet going into New Hampshire is to convince the left-leaning independents to vote in the GOP primaries. While the strategy may seem odd on the surface, the reason behind it is based in New Hampshire state law. This law allows non-affiliate people to vote in whichever primary they choose. Due to this law and due to the lack of opposition on the left, if she can convince enough people on the other side to vote in the Republican primary under the fear of Trump returning, she may have a shot at winning the state. Another way that Nikki Haley can win is by driving out the youth vote. While many younger Republicans are aligned with the Trump camp, she still has some pull over the under-25 age demographic. That being said, if past elections have anything to show about the state of voting in this country, it is most likely this age demographic does not go out to vote for either Trump or Haley. For Ron DeSantis, his path forward in New Hampshire is simple. Do not play for first, but instead fight for second. As has become obvious in recent months, the DeSantis camp is not focused on being the best candidate, but instead is fighting for second place in the event the deep state is able to arrest Donald Trump. The second place finish in New Hampshire will be crucial for setting a gap between him and Haley, so his strategy going into New Hampshire will likely be to attack Haley as much as possible in the hopes of dragging her numbers as low as possible. With that being said, there is no way that the Sands can manage to get first place in New Hampshire unless something major happens to Donald Trump. In the event of an arrest or worse, the Sands can likely pull in the Trump base and then win. But with things the way they are now, it is not likely to happen. Speaking of Trump, he is by far the easiest path to winning New Hampshire. All Trump has to do to win is simply not do anything stupid. With the feds trying to lock him up before November, and the crooked DOJ doing everything in their power to do the same, anything that Trump does can and will be used against him. Despite this though, Trump still leads the polls by a considerable margin, and as long as he is in the race, he will likely win the 22 delegates that New Hampshire has to offer. That being said, I greatly thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. I hope each and every one of you has a great day.